What's up, worlds? The Seven Worlds Gaming here today, and today I'm gonna be bringing you a new CSR Racing 2 video. This one's gonna be for the Tier 4 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Z06 Prestige Cup. Now, there's been a lot of controversy that after the update 1.9, Prestige Cups and events overall have been really hard to beat. So we're gonna go to the bottom of this. Throughout this whole video, I'm gonna be showing you every stage I get a prize and what I was using during that time. So what that means, every single time I get 25,000, 75,000, 200,000 RP, I'm gonna show you what upgrades I was using, what tomb I was using, even what fusion parts I was using. So as you can see right here, I'm gonna be using three out of six stage upgrades on everything. So everything is gonna have three, the stage three upgrade. Now, let me go ahead and show you the tune. And as you can see there, it's pretty much stock 75, 3.0 seconds. I don't have the stage four transmission and 50, 50 with 25 PSI for the tires. As for the fusion parts, I have zero upgrades, 28 out of 42, but just keep in mind, I'll mostly just have stage three upgrades. So let me go ahead and show you what, I'm, what we can actually do with this. And I was able to beat every single race up to race 15 with this setup. So, I mean, if you're still kind of struggling to get parts to the car, hopefully this will be able to help you out. And if this video helps you out in any way, make sure to not leave without leaving a like. It lets me know you guys are appreciate this, but without further ado, let's actually go ahead and enjoy the sound of this car. There you have our world, we got that win, and just so you know, yes, I am doing a voiceover over all of this, because to, to finish this Prestige Cup, it took me about the whole day just waiting for upgrades, and also the last two races for what, I, what I've been trying to do, it took me about 30, 40 minutes, to be honest, for just the last two races, so stay tuned until the end, because I am going to show you, if you are struggling, if your car for some reason cannot hit 12 seconds, don't you worry, I got your back, and I'm going to show you what you can do. So there you go, 75,000 RP. I forgot to press record right there, but I did wanted to at least show you the setup I was using. So for the upgrades, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. For the upgrades, everything is going to be four out of six. So we just pretty much moved up one, one stage on everything. Everything is gonna be stage four. It's gonna have zero fusion parts. Uh, pretty much you don't need to have that many fusion parts if you have stage six once you get to the end, but there's that tune that I was using up to race number 30, I believe it was, yeah, race number 30. Now, the next one that I'm gonna be showing you, I'm gonna be showing you the upgrades I was using up to race number 40, so here we go. And for race 40, I was able to get just everything with stage five, so everything was stage five with still zero fusion parts. And this is the tune. I actually had to tune this one 136, 2.6, 4.11, 3763 with 21 PSI. And the quarter, the half a mile was 14.499. And you can slow that down if you want to go back and check it out. Now, what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be showing you me beating race number 40. Even though it says extreme, don't let that deter you. Just know that you're probably going to be using a lot of gas during this prestige cup. So you might. If you don't have enough gold coins, you probably will be having to look at a lot, a lot of ads. And as you can see there, I lost that race. Past 40, not even to get to 40, I was able to beat it which is what I had. So I definitely had to add stage six parts and that's why I wanted to go ahead and show you that. So this is me after adding stage six parts. This stuff, I will be showing it towards the end of the video. So don't you worry. Now, I do want to point something out. This Prestige Cup is very, very hard. If you just started the game, you're going to have a lot of issues finishing this Prestige Cup. So please know that. Don't, don't feel bad. Don't feel like, oh my God, I suck at this game because it's not you. This is by far one of the diff... The most difficult events that we have had in CSR Racing 2, I'm not sure if it's a bug or something because of what you're going to kind of see at the end of this video, but I think they might have overdone it here. I do like 
I do like events to be a little bit harder because sometimes they become too easy but this is just a bit over the top and there I am beating race number 48 which I was so happy it took me 10 minutes to beat that one just over and over again trying to get a lower AI that was pretty much what I was doing I was not wanting to upgrade that much stuff and I was just trying to get a lower AI but the transmission is going to be stage 6 and you're going to see me here adding some fusion parts finally because I got to the point where I was like if I want to get close to beating this with the setup that I have right now I'm gonna definitely definitely need some fusion parts so here I am right now just currently gonna go ahead and show you the fusion parts that I added to my transmission and everything else and another thing I want to point out is I did add stage 6 upgrades as well now I didn't want to add that many fusion parts because I like to save my fusion parts and for this if you have stage 6 upgrades definitely go ahead and add it to the car unless you for some reason saving them for some other z06 i don't know i don't know how that will work out but yeah just definitely save everything i'm gonna show all of the stage 6 upgrades that i have towards the end of the video once again this is me just tuning a little bit of the car just trying to get the max evil points that's what i was going for just the max evil points that i could definitely get with this tune now another thing because i know a lot of people have been complaining about how hard this is and trust me i know how hard it is and i got lucky i got super lucky that i've been playing this game since last year 2016 july so i already had a lot of fusion parts and a lot of stations upgrades for this car which i i got lucky that's all i got to say and you'll see towards the end of the video why i got lucky as well now if you do want to give feedback to developers don't let's let's not just completely pretty much bitch about it let's actually do something about it let's give them feedback let's Let's, and you can do that by going to the website, okay? The website is singlesupport.helpshift.com forward slash a forward slash csr under, no, that, wait, that's dash, oh gosh, okay, this is too long. You know what? I'm gonna put the website link in the description below, so go down to the description and make sure you go to that website and give them some feedback because that is the only way things are gonna get fixed. Things, they're just by us saying, hey, this thing is too hard that's not how it's gonna get fixed we actually have to give them some feedback so let's work together towards that because after all we are the ones that play the game we are the ones that determine what the life of the game is gonna turn out to be so let's let's go ahead and do that go into the description below and that's here here i am just trying to be race number 50 i think this is the one race number 50 just to get the 200,000 rp this took me and i I don't want to lie to you, I recorded the whole thing and I posted it as a video on YouTube and that link is in the description below. I didn't make that video public, but I can if you want me to. I pretty much just made it so whoever has the link can go to that video, the link is in the description below. It took me almost 40 minutes just for this last and the second to last race and this last race right here. I just, I just didn't know what I had to do and as you saw there earlier. I went into a supply cup just to see I lost that event and I was like okay maybe if I lose that event I'll go into the the actual prestige cup I'll try to play it again and maybe they'll put me to a lower AI and that's exactly what happened check this out man this is awesome and this is um, if you stay throughout this whole video and this helps you out make sure to like leave a like please it, it took me a long time to do this Right there is when I jump off my seat and start screaming like a little girl. Now, if you want to drive this car, you're going to have to let go of the accelerator halfway through the number one. You're going to shift into second gear and apply the notch right away and just go back and look at the shifting pattern that I was using there. But pretty much what you have to do is, as you can see, I, I did this yesterday when the supply cup was available. What you can do is just go to an event, try to lose a race, and then go back into the actual prestige cup and hope that they give you a lower AI. Now the AI means pretty much the person that you're going to be racing against which is the computer. You're going to hope for, for the AI to be lower than 700 uh, PP power points. Uh, the, the one that's at the middle of the top next to the tier 4. That's the one. You want it to be lower than 700. If it's not and you have the same setup that I do, you're going to fail. Just know that. Just know that. And I was there showing the, the stage 6 upgrades and all the fusion parts that I'm using. And this is the tune that I was using now to beat that final race. So 
worlds so once again if this video helped you out make sure to not leave without leaving a like if you haven't subscribed already to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button just go ahead and find it somewhere and please please let's actually go ahead and give some feedback to this i like the difficulty on this event i don't want it to be that difficult because it turns off newer players to the game i want this community to be building and let's build it together so with that said worlds it has been the seven worlds gaming and i will see you in the next one